Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today we will discuss about the Archimedean spiral. In the last video we have seen one problem. Now it's the second problem. In the earlier video we have discussed about the different engineering curves from the conic group, from the cycloidal group, from the involute group and also we have seen from the spiral group. Now it's turn to discuss one more problem based on Archimedean spiral. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem. Draw an Archimedean spiral of one convolution with greatest and least ready being 81 mm and 10 mm respectively. Draw a normal and tangent to the spiral at a point 46 mm from the pole. So here two different objectives are there. First one is to draw the Archimedean spiral and second one is to draw the normal and tangent at this specified point. So first of all mark any one random point and give the name as C. Draw the circle with greatest ready as 81 mm. So take the compass set the radius as 81 mm and draw the circle. Next circle with least ready as 10 mm. So this is actually the circle with 10 mm radius. So for both the circle C is the common center. Next divide the circle into the 12 equal parts. You can divide the circle into the 8 equal division also. That depends on the available time in the examination. Give the name as AB because of this is actually the traveling distance for the object. So the object can be moved from A to B or from B to A. And that's why it is the Archimedean spiral for the greatest and least ready as 81 mm and 10 mm. So here the object is moved from B to A. At the same time, the circle will rotate in the anticlockwise direction. It can be rotated in clockwise direction also. So you can assume any one direction either anticlockwise or clockwise. So here I am going to assume in anticlockwise direction and the object is moved radially towards the center of the circle. That means from B to A. So now give the name as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 11. Next, draw any line which is inclined to this AB line at any random angle because of now I am going to divide this AB distance into the 12 equal division. And as you know that you can divide this AB distance into the 12 equal division with the help of this method. So now you can divide it easily this line into the 12 equal division. So you have to select the length of this line so that you can easily divide this line into the 12 equal division with the help of this scale. So mostly it can be the 60 or it can be the 120 mm. Now join the end of this line to this B and parallel to this you can draw these all lines with the help of the roller scale and so that you can divide this EB distance into the 12 equal division. Now give the name. For that, once again you have to assume that the object is moving towards the center. So I have assumed here the object is moving in this direction and so that the numbering will be in this direction from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 11. Now assume that initially the object is here. Now you have to think parallelly. The object is moving towards the center. At the same time, the circle will rotate in the anticlockwise direction so that this object will move over here. At the same time, it will move inside with certain distance and that is exactly equal to this one. For that, you have to take the compass, set the radius as C to 1, draw the arc with C as the center so that you will get the next position of this object over here. So give the name as P1. Now can you imagine my dear friend what should be the next step? 
yes absolutely right it is perfect now your distance will be c to 2 draw the arc with c as the center on the c2 line so that you will get the p2 point over here now definitely you can imagine your next radius is c23 draw the arc on c3 line so you will get p3 similarly you will get p4 p5 p6 and obviously you know that in order to get p7 your radius must be c7 so you will get p7 over here next you will get p8 next p9 p10 p11 and at last p12 will be on the point a so in the examination it is not required to draw the arc from here to here only you can draw the arc on this particular c1 c2 c3 up to c11 line only to get this all point p1 p2 up to p11 i have drawn over here only to understand so after getting all these points you have to join all these points by the smooth curve so now draw the smooth curve passing through all these points and that will be your first answer arc median spiral for one convolution here you can see it is exactly one convolution start from here and then it is rotated 360 degree and up to here so that is called as one convolution in the examination it can be asked like as one and half convolution or half convolution also so according to that you have to draw it now the second part draw the normal and tangent that is at a certain point which is 46 mm from the pole this is called as pole that means the center of this circle so first give the name of this curve as archimedean spiral now i am going to locate this specific point which is 46 mm from the pole so set the radius as 46 mm here you can see now take c as the center draw the arc which will cut this archimedean spiral at here give the name as s so now i am going to draw the normal and tangent at this s point now as we have discussed in earlier problem also to find the normal and tangent in case of archimedean spiral you have to find the constant of curve so first we are going to find the constant of curve and for that this is the formula difference in length of any two radius vector upon angle between those two vectors in radian so here you can consider any two radius vectors here i am going to consider cp0 and cp2 here you can see in this figure cp0 and cp2 so we have to measure the length of cp0 from this figure so here cp0 that is actually the greatest ready and that is exactly equal to 81 mm so you can put it 81 mm over here and then measure cp2 with the help of this scale so here you can see cp2 that is approximately 69 mm so i can put the value cp0 as 81 mm and cp2 as 69 mm you know that pi by 3 that is 1.047 so if you simplify this then you will get the constant of curve as 11.46 mm so now you have to take the compass set the radius as 11.46 mm here you can see draw the circle with c as the center so this red circle that is with the radius of constant of curve now join s with the center of this circle that means c so draw as c now draw perpendicular to this sc line and that you can do with the help of the set square set the one side of this edge of the set square and so that automatically the second edge will give you the perpendicular line to this cs so initially you can take random length of this line but it should be perpendicular so this line must be perpendicular to this cs now next 
this perpendicular line will cut this red circle at this point. Mark it as M. Join M S. That will give you as normal. And perpendicular to this normal will give you as tangent. And that is very simple with the help of this scale. Just coincide this long line on the scale with this normal. So automatically it will give you the perpendicular line. So this is the tangent. So here this one is the second objective normal and tangent to the spiral at a point 46 mm from the pole. So this is really very simple problem. Now can you draw the same problem if I change the convolution from 1 to 1 half convolution. Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.